family. I'm so happy that you've come to read with us today. We are reading Don't Feed the Bear. Have you ever seen a bear in the wild before? Ooh, I know they are big and scary. Except the cute little cuddly ones with their babies. I love seeing those little bears. So .net, and we are on a recorded line. Sure How are you? Don't miss out on all of our cute cuddly books, adventures. Make sure you do click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And let's go ahead and get started with this reading. Don't Feed the Bear by Kathleen Doherty, illustrated by Chip Wass. Bear loved when campers left him grub. Mac and cheese, carrot cake, quest on our website, and we are on a recorded line. How are you? I am driving right now. Can I get you to call me back later? Thank you. Early in the morning, Bear heard smackety smack wolf. Off to You're on a recorded line. How are you? The ranger was pounding a sign into the ground. Don't feed the bear. Bear's tummy rumbled. He snarled and grumbled. Medicare request on our no website. He's not, not here. Word of line. How are you? No more He's not, not here. I don't know when he should be back. Stompity. Stomp. <laughs> Scribble. Stomp. Bear put up his own sign. Don't feed the ranger. The camper stared. No one fed the ranger. No one fed Bear. Bear tried a trick. It didn't work. A war with words had be Feed the ranger. Feed the bear. No matter what. Hello? Please feed the Hello? ranger rotten eggs and slimy uh -uh. spinach. Hey, you. Go ahead, feed the bear wormy apples and moldy muffins. Bear looked at the ranger. The ranger looked at Bear. Bear made a change. Please feed the ranger tasty treats. So did the ranger. Go ahead, feed the bear yummy eats. for you to get you the most accurate auto quote and we are on a recorded line. How are you? With their new signs ready, 
it was time to wait. Later that afternoon, Bear and the ranger found quite a surprise. Piles and piles of goodies. The ranger smiled at Bear and Bear smiled back. They both had the same idea. They chowed down. After the main course, they smooshed marshmallows and chocolate between graham crackers for the most lip-smacking dessert. It was the perfect picnic. When they had their fill, they put out the fire. We are the on record sign. How are you? On a new sign. Thanks for the food. Please leave more. Of course, Bear had to have the last word. Thanks for the food. Please leave s'mores. The end. Oh, I don't know about you, but I loved that book and being in the outdoors. I love this exactly com and we are on recorded Mr. line. How are you? Bear and the Ranger I'm sick today. Together for the best to make be. friends and get more food. Do you like to eat lots and lots of food? I know I do. If you want your own copy to read with your friends and family, you know exactly what to do. Don't feed the bear. Yep, click that first link down in the description below to grab your own copy. And a happy reading. See you next time. Bye. Hello, my reading friends, and welcome to ABC Learning Adventures. Thank you for coming to read with me today. My name is Victoria. If you want to make sure that you stay up to date on all of our upcoming reading adventures, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. Today we are reading the gift that I can give for little ones. If you have your own copy, go ahead and grab it and let's get started reading together. Can get you the most accurate auto quote, and we are on our. The gift that I can give for little ones. Kathy Lee Gifford, and illustrated by Julia Seal. I'm one of a kind. I'm my very own me. For you to get exactly you the most accurate the auto quote, and we are on a recorded line. How are God you? God made me to be. What, what insurance is this? Yeah, we're not right now, okay? I'm, I'm at work. I can't talk right now. When I was small. Right down from the start, God poured out a gift deep down in my heart. What is this gift to use as I grow? When will I see it? How will I know?
God, will you show me this gift I can give as I grow and love and I learn how to live. MediaCarePlan.com and we are on a recorded Good line. How are you? Be a I'm doing okay. Thing. Yeah, yes, I quite I don't quite understand it though. Like having the talent to dance or yes. to sing. Or could my gift be giving my all and helping my team by passing Yes, as the long ball. as I don't have to change my policy like with United Health Care. There are so so many things that okay. I'm really good at. But what if my gift is much yes. different from that? And I've, I've, I've recently moved. I'm in Louisiana now. Maybe my gift mm -hmm. is just to be kind yes. by taking care of Stray animals I okay. find. Maybe my gift is to cheer on a friend so he can run that race to the end. Thank you for contacting us. Please hold while we connect you with a licensed sales representative. We appreciate your patience. All our licensed representatives are currently assisting other customers. Or Please continue to hold in a licensed sick child in a hospital bed. Or to raise some money so Hello? hungry kids are fed. Or Hi, to give my name my is Sharon Collins. Mm -hmm. An extra big squeeze. Is it possible that my gift? Is sure. all of these all God asks me as I grow, love, and live is that I show others. Thank you for the calling. Gift I Unfortunately, can give. our agents are not currently available. Please. Try me find ways to give it away as he lives in my heart every moment every day His hello good morning this gift. is robin stewart with the gift i can give the end welcome back my if you enjoyed what we read today and want your own copy of this amazing book, just click that first link down in the description below and grab a copy for yourself to read along with me next time. As always, happy reading. See you next time. Welcome back, my reading friends, to ABC Learning Adventures. Thank you for coming to read with me today. I hope you have had all kinds of fun reading with your friends and your family this week. I know I definitely have. If you want to make sure that you do stay up to date on all of our upcoming reading adventures, you know exactly what to do. Yep, that's it. Just click that subscribe button and you will not miss out on anything. Today's reading adventure is going to be, I can count 100 bunnies and so can you. If you have your own copy, go ahead and grab it and let's get started reading.
I can count 100 bunnies and so can you. By Cindy Sadesh. Wilbur is wearing his best pants and a new jacket. Why is he so dressed up? The 99 bunnies and his family will be gathering for a special occasion. Wilbur wants to count them as they arrive, and so can you. He counts himself first. That's one bunny. Wow, look at this. Here comes Mama with her special carrot cupcakes. Papa is bringing out the party tables. The twins, Pokey Nose and Nosy Blows are helping. They must be getting ready for something pretty important. Now we have two, three, four and five bunnies. Wilbur's sisters help put out the folding chairs, lots of them. Here's Polly and Esther, Tosca and Nina, Patty and Kate. That will be six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bunnies. Oh, dear me! Wilbur's big brothers are carrying too many cups of juice. There's Obadiah, Jeremiah, Joshua, and Jack. Oops! They make 12, 13, 14, and 15 bunnies. More brothers have to bring more paper cups and juice. Here come Ben, Bobby, Bartholomew, Marco and Zach. Now it's cleanup time and the party hasn't even begun. We now have 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 bunnies. The aunties arrive in their party clothes. Don't they look pretty? Auntie Peggy, Auntie Polly, Auntie Pasto, Auntie Lou and Auntie Prunella. Count 21, 22, 23, 24, we are on recorded 25 line. How are you? bunnies. Also, Great Aunt Josie, Great Aunt Rosie, Great Aunt Posy, Great Aunt Pew, and Great Aunt Luella. Don't stop counting. Wow! 26, 27, For you to be using the most accurate auto quote, and we are on a recorded line. How are you? 30 bunnies. I'm not interested in being on a recorded line. Wilbur has a very big family. This is going to be a big party. Grandma and Grandpa arrive with some grand bunnies. Willie and Nilly, Freddy and Betty, Bumpy and B. Count 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, bunnies. Cousins Murty, Gertie, Dottie, and Dee bring lots of colorful balloons. That makes 39, 40, 41, 42 bunnies.
Grandpa made whistles for all the little bunnies. More noisy cousins arrive, hooting and tooting. Tweet, twonk, twonk, toot. They toot their thanks to Grandpa. There's Randy, Radish, Hopping John. You made it on our Barbara website, family.com, and we. Peter Pussitos and Buffalo Billy. Count 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48 bunnies. Nellie Smelly Rose, Tommy and Tilly. Wendy Wide Awake, Pasta and Fazoo, Jimmy Jingle Toes, and Salty Sue all have whistles too. They make 49, 50, Net, 51, and we are on a recorded 52, line. How are you? 53, Ryan, 54, great. 55, you. 56, bunnies. And more are still coming. Yum! Something smells good. The uncles are here carrying casseroles. There's Uncle Howard, Uncle Lester, Uncle Dave, and Uncle Chester. Uncle Buster, Uncle Caesar, and Uncles Ralph and Ebenezer. Now, there are 57, 58, 59, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64 bunnies. Uncle Charlie, Uncle Chubby, Uncle Chuck, and Uncle Blubby. Uncle Randall, Uncle Rick, Uncle Don, and Uncle Dick. And let's not forget Great Uncle Hercules. What's the big occasion? Count 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73 bunnies. The teenage cousins arrive, one for every letter of the alphabet. There's Andrea, Beverly, Christopher, and Dolly. Emmett, Francis, Gracie, and Holly. Now, 74, 75, 76, 77, 81 bunnies Ooh, are what? ready to party. Some alphabet like. bunnies like sports. There's Ida, Jesse, Kevin, and Larry. Not, not right. Melanie, Nancy, Otis, Ooh. and Perry. That's 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89 bunnies. Right, MediaCarePlan.com and we are on a recorded line. How are you? Uh, Quincy and Rasputin, Sam and Tom Tutin, Ursula, Victor, Wanda, Xerxes, and Yolanda, and Zenobia. Count 90, 91, yeah. 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98. Thank you for holding. Unfortunately, due to extremely high call demand, we're unavailable arrived. to take. 
or have they? Can you count all 99 bunnies? Hello, good afternoon. What do you think they gathered here to celebrate? It's the arrival of Wilbur's new baby sister, Sweet Petunia. Now Wilbur can count to 100 and so can Maria, you. Maria. How are you? Hip hip hooray! It's time for the party. The end. Whoa, what did you think of all of those bunnies? You counted to 100 on different line. bunnies. You are very, very smart. If you want your own copy to count 100 bunnies, you know exactly what to do. Just click that first link down in the description below and you can read along with me next time. As always, happy reading. See you next time. Welcome back, my reading friends, to ABC Learning Adventures. I'm so excited that you are going to be on this fun adventure with me today. We are going to enjoy reading this little excavator book. If you do have your copy, go ahead and grab it and let's have fun reading this together. Little Excavator by Anna Dutton. Here come the big rigs. Rolling down the street. How are you? We're just bumpa, lying. Bumpa. Can you hear me okay? Bumpa, bumpa. Beep, beep, beep. Can you see little E? Ready on the spot? He's the little excavator working on the lot. For you to get. Wham! Goes the dozer, knocking down the wall. Improve your coverage at no additional cost, and we are on a recorded line. How are you? Rumble, rumble. Rumble, crumble. Fall, fall, hey. fall. I must be this way. goes bam bam thank you for holding unfortunately bam. due to extremely high call demand we're unavailable thank you for holding unfortunately due to extremely uh-oh little excavator now you're in a jam Rum goes the loader, lifting up the trash. Push up, push up, 
smush a smush a smash 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 and dot com and we are on a recorded line how are you uh what's on you yes little e tries lifting up some junk junk one time. junk You falling by what? Oh, but there oh, goes little excavator phone? over with a clunk. Oh no, I just got my hand. Room goes the dump truck with a load to lug. Clunka, clunka, chug, chug, chug. Little E just wants to lug all day, day, day. Look out, little excavator. Don't get in the way. Rump goes the black hoe, digging in the dirt. Bang, bang, bang. bang. Work, work, work. <laughs> Little E is helping too. He can dig, dig, dig. Not yet. Nothing has been later. Someday when you're big. Rrr, goes the tall crane rising to the sky. Whoosh, whoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Hi, hi, hi. Refinance inquiry to find you a Little lender who e can is save. Stretching. He gets tall, tall, tall. Sorry, little excavator, you're too small. Now, there's one last job, and the busy day is done. But no big rig can do it. Not a single your first one. plan, and we'd love to help. We are on a recorded line. How are you? Everybody tries it, and it's much too tight.
But can it be? Little E. Fits just right. You're on record your message. Line. How are you? When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for... Good job, little excavator. Time to take a bow. There's work to do just for you here and now. You find you may be small, little E, but you will grow. You're a mighty little excavator. Go, go, go. The end for little diggers everywhere. A calm when we are on a recorded line. How are you? I'm in the meeting right now. I'm so proud of Little Excavator being strong and being the one for that job, just like you are, my friends. If you do want to make sure you stay up to date on all of our upcoming reading adventures, just click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. As well, if you do want your own copy to be able to read along with your friends and family, just click that first link down in the description below. And always happy reading. See you next time. We are on a recorded line. How are you? Hi. Welcome back, my reading friends. I'm so excited that you have come for another yeah. fun adventure with me today. We are reading The Snail and the Well. I know what you're thinking. The snail is such a small, right. small, small animal, and the whale is a big yeah. animal. Imagine how they are going to be Lord together in a book. I don't know about you, but I am ready to find uh, out. So let's get started reading. Okay. The Snail and the Well by Julia Donaldson and Axel Thank Shepherd. you for coming. Hello, thanks for calling Assurance. My name is Stephanie, can I help you? This is the tale of a tiny snail and a great big gray blue humpback whale. This is a rock as black as soot and this is a snail with an itchy foot. The snail sail slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships in the dock. And as she gazed, she sniffed and sighed. The sea is deep and the world is wide. How I long to sail, said the tiny snail. These are the other snails in the flock who all stuck tight to the smooth black rock and said to the snail, with the itchy foot. Be quiet. Don't wiggle. Sit still. Stay put. But the tiny sea snail sniffed and sighed. Then cried. Nationalfamily.com and we are on a recorded line. How are you? I wish you guys would quit fucking calling this me today. This is the trail of the tiny snail. 
a silvery trail that leaped and curled and said, ride one it around the world. Where are you? Carol Guy. This is the whale who came one night when the tide was high and the stars were bright. A humpback whale, immensely long, who sang to the snail a wonderful song of shimmering ice in coral caves and shooting stars in enormous waves. And this is the tail of the humpback whale. He held it out of the starlit sea and said to the snail, come sail with me. So wild and furry that carried the whale and the snail on his tail to towering icebergs and far off lands. with fiery mountains and golden sands. These are the waves that arched and crashed, that foamed and frolicked and sprayed and splashed. The tiny snail on the tail Money. of so We're on a recorded well. line. Can you hear me okay? Come when we are on a recorded line. How are you? Beneath the waves were colorful fish with feathery fins. Hello. And sharks with hideous toothy grins. Swam past the whale. Who is this? And the snail on his tail. This is the sky. So vast and high. Sometimes sunny and blue and warm. Sometimes filled with a thunderstorm. With zigzag lightning. Flashing and frightening. The tiny snail on the tail of the whale. And she gazed at the sky, the sea, the land, the waves and the caves, and the golden sand. She gazed and gazed, Amazed by it all. Request and on she our said website. To the whale, we are on a recorded I line. How are you? So small. But then came the day the whale lost his way. These are the speedboats running a race, digging and zooming all over the place, upsetting the whale with their ear-splitting roar, making him swim too close to that shore. This is the tide slipping away. A 
this is the whale lying beached in a bay. Quick, off the sand, back to the sea, cried the snail. I can't move on land. I'm too big, moaned the whale. The snail felt hopeless and terribly small. Nance, in three to find I you a lender who can save you right. some money. And We're on a recorded line. Crawl. Can you hear me okay? I yeah, I already um, closed on my loan. I, I got it with my current snail. one. This is the bell on the school in the bay, ringing the children and from their play. This is the teacher holding her chalk, telling the class, sit straight, don't talk. This is the board, as black as soot, And this is the snail with the itchy foot. A snail! A snail! The teacher turns pale. Look! Said to the find teacher. you a lender who can save you it's some money, we're on a recorded line. Can you hear me okay? This is the trail of the tiny snail. A silvery trail saying, save the whale. are the children running from school. Searching the firemen, digging a pool. Squirting and spraying to keep the whale cool. Here, auto quote. We're on a recorded line. To the bay. And these are the villagers shouting hooray as the whale and the snail travel safely away. Back to the dock and the flock on the rock. Who said how time's flow? Be to find you a lender who can save you some you money. Grown? We're on a record. And the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves and of how the snail, so small and frail, with her looping, coloring, silvery trail, saved the life of the humpback whale. Then the humpback whale held out his tail and on coral snail after Price snail health insurance after options snail. And, we... and they sang to the sea as they all set sail on the tail of the gray blue humpback whale. The end. Yes, I definitely love that book today. That was such a fun read. I don't know about you, but I love swimming just like whales and dolphins in the ocean. If you want to make sure that you, you find you all learn. of our upcoming Under the Ocean books, you know exactly what to do.
Yep, go ahead and click that subscribe link. And if you want your own snail and a whale copy to read along with your friends and family, just click that first link down in the description below. And I am so excited to see you next time. Bye. We are on a recorded line. How are you? All right. How about yourself? Yes. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Yes. Thank you for... Thank you for calling Assurance. This is Taylor. insurance options and we are on a recorded line. How are you? Welcome back my reading friends to ABC Learning Adventures. Yep, you got it. We're going to have another fun reading adventure today. A really exciting one brought to you by the princess and the pig. Now, I just have to know, if you are a girl, have you ever dreamt so, so hard that you wanted to be a pretty, pretty princess? I know I have. Now, have you also been super, super silly, loved farming animals, and ran around the house going <sighs> being a little piggy? Yeah, I have too. It's fun to be silly and have fun. Now let's go ahead and have fun reading this book to find you a lender who can save you some The Princess and the Pig by Jonathan Emmett and Polly Bernatine Not that long ago in a kingdom not far from here a farmer was traveling home from the market with a cartload of straw The farmer was so poor that he didn't have a horse and had to pull his own cart. In the back of the cart lay a tiny pink piglet. Nobody wanted to buy the piglet at the market, but the farmer had taken pity on it. In our I'll website, call you nationalfamily.com, and we are on a recorded line. How are you? As this seems um, like actually, a good I'm not name interested. for a Thank pig. You. It was a hot day and the farmer stopped to rest in the shade of a great castle. Far, far above him, on a high balcony, a queen was inspecting her new baby daughter. The queen was so rich that she had seven nannies and didn't have to look after her own child. The queen picked the baby out of her cradle and held her at her arm's length. I'll call it... Priscilla, she decided, as it seemed like a good name for a princess. 
A moment later, a wet, squelching noise came from the baby's diaper. My Our phone. website for well priced health insurance. Oh, smell. Yuck! Screeched the queen, dropping the baby and running off to find the royal nannies. She left so quickly that she didn't notice she had dropped the baby. Over well the edge health of the insurance balcony. options, and we are on a recorded line. How are you? Down, down, down went the baby into the farmer's cart. Up, up, up flew the piglet into the princess's cradle. When the queen returned and found the piglet lying on the website for, the for well priced health been, insurance options, no, I don't need any. Of of I you? don't need none. It faded into the meeting zones. The king thought he knew what had happened. A bad fairy has done this, he explained. The fairy wasn't invited to the princess's christening, so she turned the baby into a piglet to get her revenge. It's the sort of thing that happens all the time in books. Meanwhile, the farmer had returned home and was surprised to discover a baby girl lying where the piglet should have been. The farmer's wife thought she knew what had happened. A good fairy has done this, she explained. The fairy knew how poor and honest we are and how badly we wanted a child. So she Dot turned com, into and we a are baby. on a recorded line. How are you? It's the sort of thing that happens all the time in books. And so, without a second thought, the baby became Pigmella, the farmer's daughter. And the piglet became Priscilla, the royal princess. It wasn't long before Pigmilla was able to be. We are on a recorded line. How are you? Maybe you are. Are. And get dressed all by herself. And the farmer and his wife soon forgot that she had ever been a pig. Things were not so easy for Priscilla. But the king and queen never let anyone forget that she really was a princess. As Pigmella grew older, you find you a she grew who can save you some and beautiful and was admired by everyone she met. As Priscilla grew older, she grew not so smart and not so beautiful and was avoided by everyone she met. Then, one day, the farmer's wife overheard some of the castle servants talking about the princess who had turned into a pig. It's just like what happened to Pigmella, she told her husband only the other way around. The farmer soon guessed what had happened. The princess and the pig must have swapped places Take somehow. Takecareplan.com and we are on a recorded line. How are it's you? It's the sort of thing that all happens right. all the time in books. The poor farmer uh, and his wife well, I, I had been if they told me that I wouldn't be able to get it. But they knew they must return her to her rightful home.
because I make too much money. Pigmella was also yep. unhappy. She loved the farmer and his wife yep. and did not want to live with anyone else. But they were an honest family. Uh, the next day, last week. they all went to the castle to see the king and queen. The king and queen listened to the farmer's story. But they didn't believe it. What nonsense, cried the queen. Ridiculous, the king laughed. This girl may be smart and beautiful, but she does not look or speak like a real princess. The queen thought she knew what was happening. It's a trick, she declared. This girl is just a farmer's daughter pretending to be a princess so that she can marry a prince. It's the sort of thing that happens all the time in books. And so Pigmella returned home with the farmer and his wife where she married a young shepherd and lived happily ever after and never once wished that she had been a princess website nationalfamily.com and we are on a recorded line how are you i'm good how you doing and priscilla also got married to a handsome prince although he had to be talked Bye. into it priscilla was oh uh, yeah to i a would pig by a bad fairy the king explained I'm but sure once you kiss her the spell will be broken and she will turn back into a beautiful princess added the queen. Yeah, it's the sort of thing, thing that happens all the time in books, they assured him. Yeah. Unfortunately for the prince, That's correct. it's not the sort of thing that happens in this particular book. No. The end. Oh, wasn't that such a cute, cute story? It was so magical. And I loved seeing how the little pig got to live a completely different life. Now, how cool is that? If you want your own copy to read along with me next time of The Princess and the Pig, just click that first link down in the description below. Thanks again for And if you want to keep reading along with me on some other more exciting learning ABC adventures, please go ahead and show us some love and like and subscribe so you can keep care having plan. fun um, with me. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye. Bye. Welcome back, YouTube family. I'm so happy that you've come to read I, with us today. I don't today. remember feeling out anything to that effect, but are you talking bear. about like how in the system? Have you ever seen a bear in the wild before? Ooh, I know. They are big yes, and do. scary. Except the cute little cuddly ones with their babies. I love seeing those little bears. So cute. If you want to make sure that you don't miss out on all of our cute, cuddly books, adventures, Make sure you That's do fine. hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Yeah, and let's exactly. go ahead and get started with this reading. Correct. Don't feed the bear. Uh, by Kathleen Doherty, illustrated by Chip Watts. when campers left him grub. Mac and cheese, carrot cake, meatballs, stew. Hello, this is Robert Ryan. Early one morning, Bear heard. Nationalfamily.com, and we are on a recorded line. How are you? is not available. Off to investigate. Don't feed the bear. 
thefamily.com and we are on a recorded line. How are you? Bear's tummy rumbled. He snarled and grumbled. No more chewy cookies? No more juicy burgers? Stompity. Stomp. Sign for well-priced health insurance options and we are on a recorded line. How are you? I got the wrong number, sir. Stomp. Good, good, good. good. Bear put up his own sign. Don't feed the ranger. The camper stared. No one fed the ranger. No one fed Bear. Bear tried a trick. It didn't work. In our website. A war with words had the come and we are on a recorded line. How are you? Feed Good. the ranger. Feed the bear. Yes. No matter what. Hang on a minute. Please feed the ranger rotten Okay, I had to turn on my computer. Spinach. Hey, you. Go ahead. Feed the bear wormy apples and moldy muffins. Yes, I am. Bear looks at yeah. the ranger. The ranger looks at Bear. Bear made a change. Yeah. Please feed the ranger tasty treats. Um, so I don't think so. Go now that's with the bear. additional Yum. help, right? He, he is a VA. With their new signs ready, it was time to wait. Thank you. Assurance is not better. Later that afternoon, Bear and the ranger found quite a surprise. Piles and piles of goodies. The ranger smiled at Bear and Bear smiled back. They both had the same idea. They chowed down. After the main course, they smooshed marshmallows and chocolate between graham crackers for the most lip-smacking dessert. It was and we were on a recorded line. Picnic. When they had their fill, they put out the fire. The next morning, they worked on a new sign. Thanks for the food. Please leave more. Of course, Bear had to have the last word. Thanks for the food. Please leave s'mores. The end. 
MedicarePlan.com. And we are on a recorded line. Ooh, How are you? I don't know about you, but I loved that book and being in the outdoors. I love yeah. just exactly how Mr. Big Big Bear and the Ranger worked together for the best yeah, well, that's to what make I was friends and to see get if I was more food. For any do you like to eat lots and lots of food? I know I do. I have part if you want your own copy to read with your friends and family, you know it? exactly what to do. Don't feed the bear. Yep. Click that first link down in the description below to grab your own copy. And a happy reading. See you next time. Bye. Right. Hello, my reading friends, and welcome to um, ABC Learning Adventures. Medi Thank you for coming to read with me today. Uh, my name I guess is I have Victoria. It. Uh, if you want to make sure that you stay up to date <laughs> on all of our upcoming reading adventures, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. Today we are reading the gift that I can give okay. for little ones. If you have your own copy, go ahead and grab it and let's get started reading together. Thank you for contacting us. The gift Please hold that while we connect I you with a licensed sales representative for little ones. Kathy Lee Gifford and illustrated by Julia Seal. We appreciate your patience. I'm All our licensed representatives are currently me. assisting other customers. Exactly. Please continue to hold and a licensed sales representative God will be with you as soon as possible. Be. Not a problem. Right down from the start. Thank you for calling Assurance of Prudential. A gift deep down in my heart. You may be able to improve your coverage what at no additional cost. Gift? And we are on a recorded line. How are you? To use well, who, what is this concerning? When no, I'm not. I'm not interested. It? How will I know? God, will you show me this gift I can give as I grow and love and I learn how to live? Could my gift be a wonderful thing? Like having the talent to Three, dance. Two, five, you you right now, to my Lord. Save you some money. We're no. all or could my gift be giving my all? And helping my team by passing the ball. There are so many things that I'm really good at. But what if my gift is much different from that? Maybe my gift is just to be kind by taking care of stray animals I find. Maybe my gift is to cheer on a friend. So we are on record line. How are you? That race to the end. Or maybe my gift 
is to lend a hand while keeping the beat with the marching band. Tree to find you a lender who can. Or to visit a sick child in a hospital bed. Or to raise some money so hungry kids are fed. Or to give my family an extra big squeeze. Is it possible that my gift is all of these? All God asks me as I grow, love, and live is that I show others home refinance inquiry to I find you a lender who can save you some money. Then he'll help me find ways 